Creations episode 51. I have about three weeks worth of finishes to tell you about and some uh, works in progress and a couple of updates on the Facebook page. So I'd like to start right out and uh, don't waste any time. So grab a cup and join me. Today I have some blueberry. If you were on the live earlier today, you know about the blueberry. It's a uh, pretty good it's pretty good I like it I think I'm gonna add one of the peppermint candies in the blueberry and check it out see how that ends up being because I like ra raspberry peppermint so why not try blueberry peppermint right <laughs> so if you've been following along for the last couple months I started a live show and it's Sunday mornings. So we are doing a make-along. We've been doing several of them. Um, one of the make-alongs that we started out with was some Outlander-inspired items. Now, most of those, I was just doing an easy follow-along follow pattern. So if you go to my Facebook group and you put in on the search bar, Lives, the live, a lot of those lives are going to come up. So if you want the hat pattern, if you want the the uh, mitts, the easy mitts pattern, they're just in that group in the posts. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't actually made them um, like purchasable or anything yet. So these were m the mitts. I do have two hats. They're the same pattern. I just made two of them. And I used a bulky five. I used the Serenity bulky five. And it's my own pattern. So it's just a single crochet in the back loop only. And it gives you a, a slouchy appearance. And then I added on a button to make it look even more like kind of like the outlander and it's uh, the style is like a tam so you do a flat part and then you start to gather and make it decrease so that it comes down around your snugger around your head so those are in my etsy shop and then we went on to do a capelet which claire is wearing the capelet this was the knitted version and it was just knit flat in the garter stitch. And then two buttonholes were added toward the end. And then you just button it. And you can wear it whatever way you want it. To the right or the middle or the left. If you don't want buttonholes, you can just use the material to gather your buttons that way. It works out very well. Just keep measuring it to your body to your desired length. And then make your buttonholes. It was that simple. Now, the today's make-along, we just started today. It is going to be the pattern from Lion Brand. And uh, where did I stick it? <laughs> oh, here it is, over here. I have a lot of things around me. Some from the live and some for this show. I was getting ready. The good part is I get to keep the setup 
in my table and everything now all the time. I don't have to change it. So the next make long in the live is going to be this capelet. So it's one of my whips today because this is free on the Lion Brand website. So I'll link it below in the description box. So this capelet is done side by side and then seamed together. So this is how far I am. I've gotten the first part done. I'm using a Loops and Threads Barcelona in a bulky five for mine and an L hook, which is an eight millimeter. And I'm also going to add some soft faux fur edging to mine. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out in the end. If you're interested in any of the make-alongs, whether they be Facebook make-alongs, the live make-alongs, all the links in the post and the comments uh, of your finished projects and stuff are on the Facebook page. My channel and my Facebook page are linked one in one. A lot of other people use different places like Instagram and Ravelry, and those are my choices is to use the Facebook. I work full time, and it's easier for me to follow Facebook on a full time basis. And there's 14 announcements. You click the announcements tab, you read through anything that's finished, gets the announcements get takes taken off of it so only the things that are ongoing show up that way so you don't have to go through the feed you can go right to the announcements tab and post your finishes and everything is spelled out the rules are all spelled out on each post very carefully we have two or three moderators that run the group you can ask them questions anytime you want and uh, so that make along is one of the many there's a lot of yearly make-alongs going on there. I have a pineapple square make-along we're doing for the year. And uh, I have gr uh, random drawings from that. And then I also have a grand prize drawing for that at the end of the year. I have a monthly hats, hats and more hats that I run every month. And this month is no... Uh, you know, like there's a lot of things that I do with them hats because I'm addicted to hats. So this month, now I want to finish up February 1st and I want to get that all done. I, I took all the yarns for February that we used are gone. So this was uh, a yarn called uh, Glowing and they do still have Glowing in the uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a Yarn Bee yarn. This one just happens to be one that was this continued color. And so I made a crochet hat. I got, I put on a self-made pom-pom on this one with a button so they can be removed. This was my own pattern. So I'm going to finish up February's. Uh, I did show this on my addictions, but uh, I'm showing it again now. This is a Ross hat made out of the glowing. And this was called uh, Field Wing. I believe I, 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 the color the colorway is I forgot but it came out really pretty so those two will be going up in my Etsy shop too and then we, we go on to March now March hats hats and more hats is going to spotlight this craft smart yarn in the jacquard colorways there are several i found at least four or five colors i did buy quite a few of them there's the ivy and cranberry there's the i don't know there's several of them over there but this happens to be the arizona one so if you're inclined to join me on my hats hats and more hats journey <laughs> i usually I've been lately anyway trying to make a knit and a crochet hat out of the yarn that I spotlight and show you what it looks like and then give you a chance to win the yarn I'm using. So there's a stitch marker added. It is turned backwards. <laughs> it's a blue one and that's a daisy stitch marker. That is my choice of uh 
of whatever I, f I forget it anyway so that's the colorway for March we'll be getting on to March soon oh and the uh, make along that's going on in the live will be the winner will be winning two skeins of this Hershner's home bulky five in the colorway a gate this is a hundred percent acrylic also and a stitch marker for that too so what other whips have I got going on well lately oh before I go any further the hats hats and more hats grand prize has arrived this tote bag is donated by El Grey and it is in the picture now for the included in the grand prize it's not a grand prize it's a bonus prize you have to have a hat in every single month of the year for the hats hats and more hats challenge in order to have your name put in the drawing for this bag and the contents that i'll be throwing into it <laughs> other things that have been going on is we're having a saint patrick's day over on my channel um, it was for three weeks. You had to have something St. Patrick's Day themed. And there's some green yarn to be won in that. For the life of me, I can't think of which wood it is. But it's over there. I wasn't going to mention that one here. So that's probably why I didn't uh, bring it out. But there is... Well, I don't know. It's in the post, I'm sure. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Okay, and then next Thursday, or next Thursday, next Hook and Stitch Live will be March 20th. And we are doing Hat Not Hate uh, Marathon. So we're making blue hats for that. And over on Hook and Stitch, we also have a It's a Wrap mail going on. It's a make-along for you to finish up something that's been sitting around and waiting for you to finish it up. So that will end on the end of March, March 31st. And in that grand prize is another El Grey bag. And this is the one for the It's a Wrap. It also has a matching notions pouch. Isn't that beautiful? So those... Those items and those make-alongs and all of that stuff is posted on my announcements page. So you would want to be a member of my Facebook page no matter what. Okay. We will move on to my blanket. So I have been working on this blanket for a while now. This is for my new granddaughter. Felicity was born in November and... I've made her tons of stuff. In fact, I have a couple. I have another sweater here that I made her. But I started this blanket in the big twist. It's a beautiful yarn. It's found at Joann's. It's a five bulky. And I started it, and I'm getting there. I have probably two more repeats to go. And seeing I worked on it, I wanted to show you my progress on it. I am using a J-hook on this pattern. And this pattern is in one of my leisure arts books, so I can't link it below. And it's a spider web style. And it's so big now that you can't see the whole entire thing. But I'm getting there, and I've got, like I said, two repeats left, and then I'm going to call it done so i am almost done with this she's gonna get this pretty soon and of course this is meant for when she's a little bit older anyway so i wasn't in any hurry to get it done right this second but it's a beautiful spider web i've done the spider web many times but never with this in between this is the first time i've done this pattern with it in between I don't know if I'm going to do it that way again. I have loved the spider web pattern for years. It's in one of my other leisure arts books. But I've, like I said, that was the first time I decided to try that one. And I don't know if I like this one as much. So that is one whip. Now I do have a couple whips that are ongoing that either you haven't seen yet at all. 
or I haven't worked on them. And if I haven't worked on them, then I'm not going to show them today. So sometimes I have one that I, I'll work on and then I won't work on it for like two months, three months, and then I'll bring it back. When I do bring it back, I will show my progress uh, on one of these episodes. So, with, I have a hat that I started, I don't know, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, could be, Willow, uh, Willow Wash Heather, oh gosh, it was one of those skeins that was sitting around from a mystery box, and I thought, you know, this is just gorgeous, little bit of halo, which I love, makes it so soft now this one is a hundred percent acrylic yarn for medium made in turkey and it is so soft it's a willow wash I, I don't know whether or not that has anything to do with the loftiness i think it has to do with the colorway now what i mean by it is if you look really really close there's all kinds of gold flecks in this. This is not just one color gold. It is gorgeous. So I'm working on a Ross hat in this. And as you can see, it is very close to being done. But look at all the colors. This matches my jacket almost exactly. So I, I should have this done fairly quick. I am going to have to start my March hats too, so I'm going to have to get moving if I'm going to finish this because those hats need to be worked on. <laughs> <coughs> All right, and then I did work on another item here. This one is an Outlander inspired item. I do have more than one Outlander Inspire item on the hooks or the needles. And it's because I like to have many projects going so that when I feel like working on one or the other, I can. I don't have to. So if I feel like it's a day where I got to think about it, then I'll pull out one whip. If not, I want something easy. I'll have something easy. And like the hats. What I like to do is I like to, de when I decide I'm going to do a hat, I'd like to cast it on and then I like to do the brim and then put it away and put it in a project bag that I know that I can grab and take to work and then do the six inches of stockinette for the hat at work when I don't have to worry about counting anything or following a pattern of any kind. So... That's why I have many whips on the go. Okay, this one is called the Lion Brand LB Collection Silk Mohair South Bay Shawlette. It is a free pattern on the Lion Brand website. I will try and remember to link all these patterns below that I talk about today. So this one I thought was a beautiful pattern. It has a graph. A diagram graph and I just thought that this would work out very well with my one uh, purchase from Expression Fiber Arts so I caked up the yarn and my idea was to use this yarn in a fade so I started I know it's a gold year I know so I started with this it's a fleck as you can see there beautiful gold colors all different shades and it's a fleck so I started with this color and my plan is to make this shawl and, it, and it's very lightweight it this is uh um superwash merino wool donegal tweed and um in a sport weight okay so I'm using a very well I'm using an H hook so this is the beginning of it 
and as you can see now that's the bottom where am I here that's where you start the pattern and that's where I put my H so I would not forget what hook I was using and you work your way along so if you're if this is the part that you're gonna wear at the top it's gonna be gold at the top and as it fades down it's gonna change into this color so that's another shade from expression fiber arts in that same base so the two of them are gonna make this shell up so that's one of my whips I haven't given it a lot of love but I I am, am enjoying working on it and uh, I'm keeping it in my little horsey bag I love this bag it's perfect for these small lightweight projects that there's nothing to these they don't weigh a thing all right so then I'm just not using this until I'm half right around halfway through the shawl so it'll be at the bottom end where it gets dark light at the top dark at the bottom I thought that was pretty cool all right now what else did I bring out any more whips hmm this is gonna end up being a little bit longer of a video but I knew it was because it's three weeks since I did one <laughs> Okay, now you've been following me. A lot of the items I'm going to show you may have seen either on an addictions video or on the live. And I have not been working on, like this blanket right here is a scrap blanket done in the Navajo. I haven't put any, any um, extra rows on it lately, but it'll be here and every time I feel like it, I can grab it during knit night and throw a few uh, rows on it or whatever and then you know if I do I'll show it to you this is another one this this one is the beginnings of a cocoon and I showed that center I haven't put any more love on that lately but I will and that cocoon was found in the spring crochet magazine so I can't I, I don't I can't link the the uh, pattern for that yet either or I can't it's in the magazine you know okay so one of the things that I did have fun with recently is I made these loveys and these are the ones that are full body and they you can take the bear out and throw the blanket in the washer and I thought I went I just thought well you know what let's make a few so after I made a sweater that I made recently this sweater I did for Felicity it is out of a, another book I got from Hershner's it is a knitted pattern with a short sleeve and that is for Felicity for summer three to six months and so when I finished up using this um, it was the mandala ombre and it is in the joy colorway for medium beautiful yarn so soft it's lovely I knitted it out of a book so when I got done with that one I made this lovey out of the extra yarn that was left and that's one of those cakes there's only like 400 yards in it or 396 or something there's not that much and then after that I made a blue I had some leftover latte cakes and so I made a blue one uh, for Easter with the blue bunny feet are blue and this latte cakes works up great it was just the end of a skein or a cake of that and this time I added on a teething ring like I do a lot of times I'll add a binky on the other side which I didn't do for this one so that one's done and then 
I went to the dollar store the one day and Michael's the other day and I found this stripes. This one is the sunshine colorway, sunrise colorway. This is a loops and threads, 160 yard. Um, it's an impeccable four medium, 100% acrylic. So it had these flecks of orange through it. And I thought, well, that's perfect to make the lovey for the ducky. So I finished that one and I put a teething ring on this one too. Now, if you are interested in this granny square lovey, pop on over to Zelda NRJ3 and she, I will try to link that below. She has a, a quick tutorial on how to start these loveys on a hair tie. And then you continue on, you make the inside 36 stitches and then you continue on with your um your granny stitch and make a square i added one last row of mine with a pico edge so they kind of look kind of pretty on the end and then of course i add either a teething ring or a binky both or just a binky but it's really nice to be able to put your binky on, with, I have a little tab that I use with a little button. And you could put your binky on there and then your binky's not falling on the floor every five seconds. As long as the lovey stays up on the seat of the baby seat, then the binky will too. If, it's, if the baby spits the binky out, it doesn't go on the floor. It's stuck to the lovey. So that's one of the ideas that I do a lot. And then... I got, see what else was I going to talk about? Make sure I have everything here. I bought a whole bunch of these flex yarns from Michaels. Uh, loops and threads, flex. See all the beautiful flex? I love it. Now this yarn is kind of like A lot of layers it's like layered and it's not spun real tight it's they're laid together so you've got seven layers seven uh, threads laid together and this one is for medium and it's beautiful these these uh, come in 590 yards so they're about 9.99 a piece you need to use a coupon or get it when it's 20 percent off and i think they're talking uh limited time only i'm not sure it comes in about eight or nine colors i showed it i have a open box opening that i did and all the colors well what i did was i took and i washed and I did a swatch and I washed and dried this swatch. And the reason why I did that is because on the label it says hand wash only. Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm making baby items and selling them, I don't know who they're going to. And I want them to be able to wash their item all the time because babies make messes on anything that gets close to them. So you want to be able to throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer, and not even think about it. So that's why I took in hand, or wash and dried this swatch. It did not change it a bit. It did not. These are what I told you was seven layers. I didn't weave in my ends. Next time I do a swatch, I will weave in my ends on the one side and see how it works. These I didn't weave in and see... Now, I also washed this with other clothes just because I wanted it to be roughed up against other clothes. And it's fine. So, I went ahead and I started knitting a sweater. I picked a, a sweater that said the finishing size was going to be 20 inch, uh, 20 inch chest. chest. 
It is a pattern I found on Ravelry. And it's free. And it's called Pretty Baby Sweater. I'll try and link it below. So what I did was I looked at this and I said, all right, I'm a loose knitter. I know this already. And by the way, I hit the year. It's I'm officially a year into knitting. So I am officially a knitting, <laughs> a knitter, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, um, so my opinion with this yarn is if I'm a, I am a, a loose knitter for whatever it's worth. And it says to use six millimeter, six millimeter needles. And it says to use four worsted weight. Okay. And I did not. So I of course went up a size needle on purpose and I'm using a four medium. Okay. Well, my sweater came out much smaller than I, I'm not much smaller, but a little bit smaller than I would have wanted it to. I want my uh, newborn sweater to go over the top of their clothes and maybe wear it for the first, it, maybe three months of their, their, you know, then that's my opinion. <coughs> this is not going to, this is going to end up being a newborn size. So here is the beautiful pattern. The lace work in this pattern is gorgeous. It is also on the bottom. I will be planning on doing this sweater many, many times. I might even make one of these. I'm not positive in all these colors, but you guys and like I said this is going to be a newborn size so I'm going to make mine bigger next time I'm going to add stitches in the body and a few stitches on each sleeve to get it bigger and I'm not quite sure if I'll be changing my needle size or not however it is still gorgeous to me. So I added three little chickies as my buttons. And there is the finished sweater in this. And my overall opinion of this flex yarn is treat it as it's a three light. I, I am not an opinion that it's a four. To me, this is a three. So if I would have picked a pattern that was a three light, I probably would have had much better gauge. Okay. And that's what, why I'm doing this so that you can understand what it's like to make something and not use a swatch. It does not, it doesn't really have a definite, size it just says 20 inches so if you were to measure this chest size on here how close was I well it's telling me I'm 16 inch chest so I'm four inches off of the desired size and four inches may not seem a lot like a lot, but you know, it really, it really ends up being about two inches on each side. So if all I do is add two inches, like even if I add an inch and a half here, an inch and a half here, and then a half an inch on each sleeve, then I'm going to hit my desired length. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure how many stitches per inch. I'm going to add an inch and a half of whatever I come up with for to the body and a half an inch to the sleeve and then I'm going to make it again <coughs> and I think I'm going to pick 
maybe the blue next time. So I think I have talked about everything that I've made in the last three weeks or more. Now I can put some of these things away. Um, I need to make, I think, two more Christmas items so that I can get my carousel Christmas ornament swap box that Kim and I are putting together for the podcasters together and we're going to be shipping that out in the sp I think at the end of spring I think we're going to ship it out in May so if you signed up to do that carousel with us there were 12 total so I think there's 10 podcasters we each chose five each and then ourselves and you want to watch where that carousel box goes, I'm going to be putting a playlist in mine, and I'm sure that Kim will also, so that we can watch each podcaster get it, and what ornaments they decided to choose and swap out from the box. That'll be fun to watch that float around for that for the 10. <laughs> 10 different podcasters that it's going to go to and each time it does I will let you know where it is and that'll that'll be something interesting for the rest of the year to watch throughout Christmas because they have to make ornaments and then if they find one in the box that they like they have to trade it out with one that they made so yeah so when they come back to us then Kim and I get to to pick six that we want to keep and you know so yeah all right well i'm going to go a couple reminders i have a 900 sub giveaway called 900 thank you out there it's going to be picked as soon as i hit 900 subs so be sure and get your name in that and it is a beautiful kit. If you want to see what's in there, watch the 800 one because there were two bags made on the 800 one and I don't reopen it on the 900. I just show you what it was. The other thing that's out there is I have a new bracket board. I am doing brackets and how you get in. How do you get into the brackets? Well, in each addictions video, there is usually a hidden giveaway. If there's a hidden giveaway and I pick a winner, that winner will advance to the bracket game. The brackets will be filled as winners are drawn from the addictions uh, videos. And as they fill, they'll advance on to the center and when you hit when you get to the center they'll be they'll, it'll end up being one winner when it's all done and my plan is to give out some hand dyed yarn from probably one of my subscriptions so there's another game for you how fun is that i'm just having a great time i'm having a great time on my lives I love my addictions videos. They're so much fun. Kind of laid back, just showing you whatever the heck I want, talking about books, that kind of thing. But I did want to get an episode up so that you can see all the finished objects all in one place for the last three weeks. And I'm going to start some hats today. And I will talk to you all later. Bye now. <laughs>